what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.college, and today I want to show you something really cool. I came across this browsing Reddit a couple days ago, and it's a asset pack that allows you to turn a Unity game or app or whatever it is into your desktop background, so you can have an interactive, kind of cool, animated, even responsive background. Now. The package is called Rainity, and it was only five bucks, so I grabbed it right away and decided to give it a try. I plan on leaving a review right away because I really do think it's pretty awesome. So what does it look like? Well, here's the main scene. If you open up Rainity, go in and go to the example and just open up this project, you see it's a little odd, but it's trying to demonstrate a couple of the different features that are in this thing. The first is just some quick launch buttons, and you'll see these in a minute. When we kind of mouse over them, they drop down. In fact, why don't I just hit play? So if we mouse over them, they kind of drop down. And also the icons for these will show up. So if I link an app to these, the icon can actually show up right there on top. And then it's showing that we can also grab the wallpaper image. Right now, mine's a volcano exploding over a long time. And then uh, we've got CPU, RAM, VRAM, and disk space you can see right here I'm probably gonna run out of disk space just recording this video so let's take a look at the scene and see what's in here and what we can customize and what this package actually gives us so if we take a look first um, well I was gonna look at the main camera but let's just start with these icons these actually map to these different objects that are going up and down and what happens is the oh look I actually clicked on one and it popped up interesting so this is actually bound to my Unity Hub right now, or no, it's the second one right here. And uh, you see that the icon visual is not set right now. I think this is just a bug in this version of it. I assume it'll probably be fixed maybe even by the time that you see this. But the icon visuals were not actually linked up. They're right down here on cube 02. That's the, uh, the renderer that's right on top of that. So here, let's stop playing. And I'm gonna fix that real quick. Just drop it in. And when I hit play, you should see the hub icon up here on that top part now. Let's see. Oh, it didn't show up, but it does show up. Oh, I see the issue. One other thing that I came across was that uh, quotes around the paths do not work right. It bugs out uh, loading the icon, puts an extra backslash there. Not sure why I didn't really spend the time, but there you go. Now you see that the icon is showing up. And I can do that for all of these, or we could put in any other kind of uh, program launcher or icon little thing that's interactive and does this these are really just simple game objects with a very simple script on them and then we have the cpu usage stuff all under this main camera so if i go to main camera expand out the canvas you see that each one of these i can even turn them on and off that's the cpu usage one uh there's the ram vram and the disk space and then there's one showing how to use an icon also showing how to grab that wallpaper again if we wanted the wallpaper to be our background we could always stretch that out and make it full screen i assume um, i didn't really try that because it seemed kind of boring but i thought it, you know good to point out that it's there at least so this is kind of cool um it's much cooler when it's running as a desktop though and up oh, there we go i keep launching things just clicking on stuff let's kill that as well so what does it look like as an actual desktop well let's take a look all right, so I've just finished a build and we get the little pop up here. I'm gonna hit play, leave it in windowed mode and it should pop up. There we go. And my screen went kind of yellow and orange. You can't see the entire screen, but there's nothing there. One thing that I noticed with this pack was that it didn't seem to work very well with my resolution, which is uh, 2560 by 1600. It seemed fine in 19 or I guess 1080p. So if you're regular 1080p, it seems totally fine. But if I just hit alt enter, Bam, goes full screen, and I can hit it again, get it out of, oh, this one won't go out of full screen, mine will, but you can see it, now it's in uh, full screen mode, and it's kind of working. You can't really see it, though, because it's a little bit off the screen, but just trust me, just a little bit off to the side, I have the CPU usage, VRAM, and all that stuff there, and I've got the buttons that I can click to launch a thing, but I also have my desktop here, so you see this is not an app. It's actually just sitting there as my desktop. I can click back on it and everything's fine. So, kind of cool, but I really wanted to do my own. I wanted to customize it and see what I could come up with. So, let's kill this. So far, by the way, the only way I've found to kill these is either click on the desktop and hit Alt F4, get the little crash checker thing, or uh, go into Task Manager and then kill the process. And make sure that you do that when you're 
playing around with this and building it because otherwise you're going to have build failures because it didn't actually close. It doesn't seem to close very gracefully right now. Again, I expect all this stuff will change over time and things will just get better. But let's take a look at the one that I built now. So I'm going to go into the assets folder. And don't get me wrong, this isn't anything amazing or super special, but I thought it was really cool and it kind of gave me the idea that I could do a lot of different things here. So here you see I've just moved these up to the top. And I'm not even going to play in here because I want to show it on the desktop. I'm going to move my particles scene up. And I also want to point out that this only took a couple minutes to build. It's extremely simple. All we have to do is add that Rainity script, which I'll show in just a moment. And then uh, do a build. Everything just kind of works. So let's see. Let's get it launched. Did it start? Oh, it's about to start. And then we'll dive into the Rainity settings real quick. Um, and then a couple other little things that popped up that gave me problems. So one issue uh, I've noticed is sometimes when I do a build, it wants to pop up and run full screen. doesn't really work that well that way. So we just set it down to something smaller. There we go. Just check window and it goes to that. And then hit play. Uh, that may work fine in uh, 1080p too. I'm not completely sure. So there we go. I've got it running. My background went totally black. Oh, I clicked and you saw a spark. But if I just hit alt enter again, and there, got to hit it twice to get it lined up right. Now you see that my desktop is actually just the CPU usage stuff. And whenever I click, there's a little spark. So if I grab a, um, well, let's see, let's grab a random window, like the Unity window right here. And you can see, I'm just dragging around. This is literally just my desktop. It's interactive. There's, you know, responds to my clicks and I see things here. And I thought this was really cool. So. I, again, I just started playing with this. This is like 15 minutes in to just experimenting with this system. But I think that there's a lot of cool stuff we could do. You could have a little interactive game on the background. Um, you could have a lot of extra information that's maybe useful. Uh, it could just be totally pointless and just kind of a neat little flashy thing to show off to friends too. So let's look at the Rainity script real quick before we wrap this up. I want to show a couple options and then point out... Um, one other issue I had. So the first thing is this window offset. The reason that it defaults to this negative 40 is just so that your taskbar down below works. By the way, pretty sure this only works in Windows. Not going to work on a Mac. Sorry. Um, but anyway, your taskbar won't show if that negative 40 is not there. So if you want it to take up the full screen, um, you got to get rid of that. And it will, it'll literally block the taskbar. Kind of annoying though, actually. Uh, but it's supposed to be zeroed out if you use this behind icons checkbox. Unfortunately, every time I've used that, the app just launches and instantly crashes, like silently just goes away. Again, I'm guessing that it's probably something that will be resolved relatively quickly. And I may just reach out and ask for some support and figure out what I'm doing wrong or if there's an issue there or some other configuration problem causing it. But just know that if it is crashing for you when you use that behind icons, you're not alone. Just turn it off and play with it without for now. And then whenever it works, you're good or maybe it just works for you i don't know um some other options hide from taskbar just keeps it from showing up down in that taskbar below but you do get to see it in the tray which i thought was really cool so you can actually add in a tray pop-up for it with your own little menu items and have it do whatever you want to do i, I thought it was kind of neat and it's a good way to demonstrate how to set up those trays um, for other games and other apps um I think that's about it. The other things are pretty obvious. Don't hide the window. Keep it bottom most. Just keeps it behind everything. And borderless. No border. Pretty simple, right? Anyway, I thought this was a really cool system. Um, I will probably leave this on here. I haven't run into any performance issues or anything yet. But I am running on a relatively high-end system. So maybe this will kill somebody's system. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool, though. And just thought it was fun to play with. And I'll probably be expanding on this and doing something fun with it later. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit the alert button, all that fun stuff. And also just remember to check out new packages like this. You know, Keep an eye on things like Reddit or the Asset Store or anywhere else. Just watch and see what's coming out because there's all kinds of new interesting things being released. And like I said, this one I thought was pretty awesome and only five bucks. So definitely worth watching for. Anyway, thanks again. Uh, keep coding and bye.